So as many of you have seen the Kevin Garnett interview on Showtime with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson on the All The Smoke podcast, Kevin Garnett relayed a story about the time he was trash-talking Michael Jordan, provoking him as a rookie in the league. And after the story ends, we're also going to break down another story regarding MJ and Kevin Garnett later on down in Kevin Garnett's career. And if you haven't watched the interview, good, because this video is going to break down everything with Kevin Garnett, Isaiah Ryder, and of course, MJ all together. I put a lot of time and effort into making this video, trying to get all the clips from both interviews and of course, the entire game. I wanted to showcase the clips from the game that Kevin Garnett was describing so you can watch it all pieced up together. So if you enjoy this video, I'd really, really, really appreciate if you guys could leave a like to show your support. Let's aim for a thousand likes. It literally takes two seconds of your time and it would really mean a lot to me. If you're new around here and you enjoy NBA content, hit that subscribe button for more NBA content every single week and hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. With that said, here's the story about MJ, Kevin Garnett and Isaiah Ryder. And if you have recently heard about the story, let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. And then also let me know what you think about this video having it all pieced up together with all the game highlights mixed in with it. What's your best MJ story? Oh man, um, we in Chicago, you know, it's my rookie year. And I had played against Mike three times head up. So KG had never seen me play against Mike. So I'm in the wave, I'm playing decent, I'm starting whatever, however, we get to Chicago, Ronnie was just in the bad crash, I, I haven't had no sleep, so I'm on a, I'm on a getting back to the go, I got about 70 people at the game, the hood in here, we all in here, right? <laughs> Kevin Garnett, it's all his Farragut buddies. So I'm just on one, but I haven't had no sleep, I'm just on like a, you know? I come in here, man, and it was hard seeing my partner in the bed like that. He had a big ass halo around his neck, but he yeah. was such in good spirits, man. Anyway, I, I, I'm playing, right? But JR is having a good game. So I'm quiet. I always stay quiet when I play mine and talk too much. I yeah. mean, if he talked to me, I was going to talk back, but he never talked crazy to me. We just played. But I never talked crazy to him at all, right? Yeah, yeah. You knew better. You know, JR Mike. JR Ryder. Like a, yeah, JR Ryder. Shout out to JR Ryder, right? Easy Ryder. So we're in the game, and I got about 20 going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. Mike got about 18, 19. Okay. So as we come out the timeout, KG like, man, keep going at his ass. Just, just, I'm on, y'all, y'all. I can't even explain it. I was just like, yo, keep, yo, keep killing that nigga, y'all. Serve him. He can't guard you. Boning him, yo, straight up. You have a good game, Joe. Keep going. He can't da 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 with you. He can't mess with you. Yeah. I was like, I was quiet. I'm looking at him like. But it was on some like, just fly by. Like, he was like, yeah, you too. So as I'm walking off, just chill. The mic was literally right there. The nigga right here. The mic can hear me. But I ain't really, I don't really give a fuck. So I'm like. <laughs> and KG was like, I don't care. And hey man, KG Scott. was hype. Like and KG he's super hype. Yes. You know, loud. I'm a super hype. So we vibe, right? But I'm like, chill. So I double battle it. Yeah, man. Keep, keep killing that nigga, yo. You killing that motherfucker. <laughs> he can't guard you. Keep going at him. I'm like, man, chill. It's like, what? I was like, I feel it. <laughs> Hands on hips, legs locked. <laughs> then look, the nigga stabbed me for about 15 seconds. I was like, wow. But Mike looked at me, looked at KG, looked at me, looked at KG. You feel that? So I start to feel it. It's two ways you can go in this. I can walk this off out like I don't even feel it and play it off and and dummy out. F fuck that. Now I'm in here, I got seven. So I'm on, I'm yeah. on. Okay, keep it up. So I hear JR go, yo, all right, yo, fella, keep going. Yeah, you too. <laughs> so he's trying to get me off and over. I don't even, you know, now that I recall it, he was trying to kind of just get off and over. So he go, so I double back, go, and get ready to say something. So he go, Hey, look, Mike. Mike, he don't know the rules of the game, man. He's just a young puppy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Mike was like, I see him and Mike having a conversation. So he's like, he don't really know he's excited. Whatever. So now MJ on the back leg joint. You know, he's oh, leaning yeah. on you. Yeah. Like, Is so that right? right? Like, okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, huh? Okay, you talking? You know what I mean? I said, man, he don't know the rules of the game. <laughs> yeah. Mike looked at him being like, okay. Looked at me like, okay. I said, what you looking at me like that for, right? <laughs> I can't even really describe the next like six to seven minutes of play, y'all. In this next six to seven minutes of play, y'all, we get two, not one, two 10 second calls. You know, when you bring the ball up, you, you got to get across half court. Two 10 second calls. Came into the, went to the fourth quarter, man. That man got about eight, 17 quick. 
Mm. Mad, looking at KG, looking at me, looking at KG. Motivating. He, he, man, he, I said, look, I got to guard that man. We down 25 now. It was just at two. <laughs> <laughs> Mike had 18. He had like 40 now. Jay was under a minute left in the third. MJ has been hot. Fade away. Stops for football. Fade away. Jumper. Baseline. And he hits. Scotty. Bounces inside. Michael. Over it. <laughs> JR myself, we ain't scored in like about four minutes. <laughs> and I sub like three of the starters. Like, it's just. You know what I mean? Mind you, KG was having a great game on Scotty. We both, I mean, KG had about 30. I had about 28. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we was getting it. It's amazing. But KG didn't understand that we don't talk to Mike like that. No, we don't we gas don't, him don't, up. Don't, don't gas don't him talk. up. Finally, it flip. Got it got bad quick, <laughs> y'all. I come to the joint. And then they know this. When you come and you've been on the run, when you not got back on the floor, got back, had to rebound, had, and you feel like you on defense all the time, you come to the bench like this. <sighs> Simon, Simon. So I was like, Jail, man, my bad, my, my bad, dog. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry. He like, it's cool, man. I told you, just shut your ass up, man. You're not fine. <laughs> so he, so you got in between the. Gatorade right there where you like, damn, and next thing you know, we over there like this. <laughs> and Mike came down, okay, young fella, okay, okay, damn, young fella, damn, damn, y'all, y'all done, damn, young fella. <laughs> Never talk shit to Mike ever again in life. Now, I don't know about you, but that's one of the craziest stories that I've heard in a very long time. Obviously, there are tons of MJ stories, and I've told many on this channel before, but Kevin Garnett's version is extremely funny to watch. The way he's able to describe situations, the way he's able to imitate players and their voices, he actually is a very good imitator. But apart from that, it's also very funny because it's the same story that J.R. Ryder brought up two years ago, and now when you combine them together, it's funny hearing it from both sides. The thing about Kevin Garnett is that he respected MJ and MJ respected him after this situation. We all know the type of player that Michael Jordan truly is. He's a guy that wants to be fired up and he actually plays better when somebody fires him up. And he respected Kevin Garnett because this was a high school player bringing it to him. And of course Garnett respected him because he would never trash talk MJ ever again. But just for clarification, MJ said he respected Garnett even in an interview that season. Like, what's your impression of Kevin? Good player. He's going to be good. He's young. He's learning. He's certainly going to learn how to uh, adapt to this situation. He's going to. He's on the job training right now. He's going to be fine. And he also respected him so much that when MJ was 38 years old and playing for the Washington Wizards, he would go at Kevin Garnett. Keep in mind, this is a 38-year-old Michael Jordan. Yes, he was still a solo player. He was a 23-point-per-game player, but he was 38 years old, and you really have to keep that in mind. This wasn't the MJ that we had seen in Chicago the first time that KG and MJ matched up against each other. This was Jordan at 38 years old after three years out of the league. And if you're wondering how good Kevin Garnett was at this stage, well, he just finished outside of the top 10 MVP race in the entire league, and the next season he would finish second in the MVP race. So this Kevin Garnett was emerging as one of the best players in the league, and he took it upon himself to guard MJ, who was 38 years old. MJ took it upon himself to go to work against an MVP level, Kevin Garnett, on his farewell tour. And this was the game where he just put it on Kevin Garnett. Time and time again, he was going at KG, hitting mid-range jumpers, dunking it, getting crazy layups. He looked like a prime version of MJ when really this was a Washington Wizards MJ that was ending his career that season. And of course, MJ was putting it on Kevin Garnett because he had a lot of respect for KG and knew how good of a player he was. This was MJ's version of a challenge. You know that MJ wanted a challenge each and every game, but when they had history together, MJ would take it upon himself to make something happen. And this game was just another example of that. I'm not sure if the game in Kevin Garnett's rookie season was the reason why MJ went so hard on this particular occasion, but I do know that MJ had that killer mentality where if he was up against an MVP candidate, no matter how old he was, he would go to work on that player, and he showed it at this particular time too. 
and these highlights just showcase how great of a player he really was. With that said, let me know what you think about this MJ and Kevin Garnett story. If you enjoyed it, please, please, please leave a like to show your support. It took a while for me to find all the clips and match it all up together, so I'd greatly appreciate if you guys could drop a like to show your support. Let's aim for a thousand likes for the next video. And if you're new around here and you enjoy NBA content every single week, multiple times a week, hit that subscribe button so you get NBA content just like this video every single week, and hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. With that said, it's been your boy Nick Smith. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in my next one. I'm out.